Hi, I'm Drew Moyer, and this is How Can I Find the Volume of a Star-Shaped Container? Finding the volume of any irregular shaped container involves dividing the shape into shapes that we do know how to take the volume of. For example, with this star, I know that I can divide this star into five triangles and a pentagon in the middle. So, if I want to find the volume of the star, I'm going to have to find the volume of each one of these triangles and the volume of the pentagon. But the easiest way to do it is to just find the surface area of the triangles and the surface area of the pentagon and then multiply the whole thing by the depth, which is three inches. So I'm going to do that. The surface area of the triangle, I know that the length of this side is five and the base is six, but I need the height. So I'm going to drop down an altitude from this triangle, just like this, and I know that that must bisect an isosceles triangle, which puts me at three and three. And I know that if the hypotenuse of a right triangle is five and one of the legs is three, the height must be four because it's a three, four, five special right triangle. So the area of this triangle is going to be one half base times height, which is one half six times four, which is one half of 24, which is 12. So the area of one of these triangles is 12. That means that all of the triangles must be 12. which means that the area of all the triangles together must be 60. So I'm going to keep that in mind and I'm going to move on to my pentagon. So for this pentagon, the best way I'm going to be able to solve it is by dividing this shape into five smaller triangles, which I will do just like this. And now I already know that this base is six, which means that the whole perimeter must be 6 times 5, or 30. And I'm going to use that in the area formula, which is abbreviated A equals 1 half little a times P, or perimeter. The little a is your apothem, and I can use that for any regular shaped polygon. And I know this pentagon is regular because the base of all the triangles is 6. So all I really need to do is find the apothem, which I can do just like this. I'm going to draw the apothem just like this, which cuts this triangle into two equivalent triangles. I know that this base is 6, which means this base has to be 6, which means this side right here is 3. And I also know that this whole angle must be 360 because it's a revolution, which means that the central angle of one of these five triangles that I drew was 72, 360 divided by 5. And I know that this altitude must bisect this triangle, which means that this measurement right here is going to be 36 degrees. So if I want to know the apothem, which I'm going to label x, I can use a trig function, which is tangent of 36 equals the opposite side over the adjacent side, which is 3 over x. And if I solve that out, I'm going to get x equals 4.127. And now I can plug that back in for my apothem, because I know my apothem must be 4.127. So the area of the pentagon is equal to 1 half 4.127 times the perimeter, which I already said was 30. And if I solve that out, I'm going to get the area of the pentagon is equal to 61. 0.905. And then from there, I know that the area of all the triangles together was 60. The area of the pentagon is 61.905. So I know that this whole surface area of the star must be 61.905 plus, 61 plus 60, which is, so total surface area is equal to 121.905. And then from there, all I would do is multiply by 3 to get the volume of the star-shaped container. So, I'm Drew Moyer, and that is how to find the volume of a star-shaped container.